You know it's embarrassing? Presenting a video in your meeting and then having your attendees not hearing the audio. Have the technology gremlin struck again? No, not really. There's just a simple button that you need to check in order to have your computer's audio play instead of your microphone audio. And that's because by default in Microsoft Teams, the microphone audio is the one that's on by default and not your computer's audio. So how do you get your computer's audio to play through your meeting? Very simple. All you have to do is when you go to share your screen, you'll notice that a screen pops up below that has several different boxes for you to choose from. Now, these boxes are which screen do you want to share? Maybe you just want to share your desktop. Maybe you just want to share uh, something you have open in a web browser, or maybe you have a secondary monitor that you want to share. However, on the same screen, what you may miss is that there is a tiny checkbox there that says include system audio. And that's the button you need to check in order for your audience to hear the sound that's coming out of your video. Without it, they'll see the video play, but they won't hear the audio. Once you're done sharing your screen, you can simply press the share screen button again to end sharing your screen. And by doing so, you will also disable the system audio again. That way you don't have to pull up the menu again and then check the box again to disable the system audio. Now it's important to note that just because you check the box for system audio, it doesn't mean that your microphone is now off. You are just including the system audio inside of your meeting. You are not turning your microphone off in order to play the system audio. If you're brand new to Microsoft Teams, we do have a course to teach you all of the basics called Teams Essentials. It's available on our website at protectedtrust.com, but we'll also leave a link for it below in the description.